So as it's Menopause Awareness Month, I thought I would do a video on how the menopause can affect your heart. So hi, my name's Anita. I'm a 53-year-old, second-year postgrad in functional nutrition. I was a former cardiac ICU nurse, and this video is on how the menopause can affect your heart health. So did you know that your risk of heart disease increases after the menopause? And it's not because you've suddenly become unhealthy. It's actually because your hormones have changed. So you see, when estrogen levels drop during menopause, your body loses one of its biggest protectors. So estrogen helps keep your blood vessels flexible and supports good cholesterol while keeping the bad cholesterol low. So when estrogen falls, LDL tends to rise and HDL tends to fall and your arteries become less elastic. That's why many women suddenly find that their cholesterol levels creep up even if their diet hasn't changed. So what can you do nutritionally wise to help you? Well, it's good news because you can absolutely rebalance it. So focus on foods that naturally protect your heart and help your liver clear out excess cholesterol. So let's start with the biggest thing, fibre. So eating oats, beans, lentils and lots and lots of green vegetables can really help because they bind and remove excess cholesterol in your gut. Omega-3s are really important because they help raise your HDL. So salmon, sardines, chia seeds, flax seeds, these all lower triglycerides and raise your HDL. The next one is eating more antioxidants. So these are the colourful fruits, green teas, vegetables, olive oil. These protect your blood vessels from inflammation. And let's talk about exercise. So we can't skip on this. So don't skip your strength training or your fast walk. So movement really helps your body use fat for energy rather than letting it linger in your bloodstream. So just to wrap up, menopause doesn't have to mean that you are at higher risk. It's just that it's your cue to tune into your body differently. So you can support your heart through food, movement and understanding your hormones. If you have any questions or you've had a recent cholesterol test that's gone through the roof and you don't know why, drop it in the comments and I'll do a video or I'll try and answer it there and then.